It's Stephen here at A Photography and at the minute I'm on the top of a mountain and how cool does it look? I'm going to spin around and just show you what is going on. It's super bright. We've been up here since about four o'clock this morning so it was pretty dark at that point so I thought I'd just wait a little bit until the light actually appears um, because the reason that we're up here is that we're filming our wonderful eye photography landscape course. So we've got ourselves a pro landscape photographer in Chris Sale. Um, myself and tutor Emily are up here um, helping with Chris, uh, filming the course, and today we have been covering a module all about uh, hills, valleys, and mountains. We've been doing sections about uh, creating panoramas, HDR, um, and it's just been wonderful. I'm not so much normally of a morning person. I don't mind getting up early, but to then start hiking, and it is hiking. I've got I've got proper walking poles and hat and everything as well. Um, it's it's been an absolute revelation of if you can kind of motivate yourself to get out early. The sights that you see are just amazing and I, this is going to be a brilliant course because of once a the conditions of what we've uh, we've been really really fortunate to experience to kind of get the photographs and obviously uh, capture all the teaching that goes along with it as well um, but just the sights that you're going to see um, we've, we've got some amazing footage um, Emily's had the drone out in other um, sections of this course when we were filming um, down in the lakes and the waters yesterday um, so it's going to look absolutely amazing because it is a stunning location but I just wanted to tell you about the course really because it's uh, it's really really cool and um, so it's going to be a brilliant course that if you've if you just want to take some better landscape shots if you want to get a little bit more serious chris has got so much information really really good kind of preparation information as well because that as i've started to notice is really key to planning your routes um, and deciding exactly where you're going to go and obviously timing is so important as well I mean, the lights come up now so it's a little bit harsher so we're heading off to a different location but when we were up before at sunrise it was just absolutely perfect so things like that are incredibly important um, to consider um, in your kind of landscape photos it's not just a case of getting the camera out and kind of shooting and then hoping for the best even like shooting at midday may not necessarily yield you the best photographs timing is, is so key as i've found out um, and hopefully it's going to make me a healthier person from all this up and down if i can just spin the camera around quickly you can see the rest of the guys heading down the mountainside there you can't even see the road or where the car is parked so we've got kind of quite a way to go um, but yeah, my, uh, my my Fitbit tracker is going crazy. It's never worked as hard in its life counting all these steps. <laughs> um, but yeah, as I say, there is tons of information in this course. There's loads of help um, about kind of improving your photography, ideas about improving resolution with uh, panoramas, HDR, to really kind of increase things like dynamic range in your photograph. Chris will talk you through a lot of the information about equipment and lenses um, that are kind of best suited to this type of photography it's been really really good fun kind of getting up kind of early hours didn't look great initially on our kind of production sheet but i'm so glad that we did do it um and kind of got out nice and early because to say the photographs are truly inspiring and the the surroundings are so motivating so whether you live up here in the lake district or you live in america or australia i'm sure there are relevant and just as beautiful landscapes nearby where you live or even if you're planning a trip maybe or you're going on holiday somewhere and you just want to make the most of the destination whether there is something a bit more rural out there um, and you want to can take some great shots whether it is of some kind of local landscapes um, then again this course is going to be so relevant you don't have to live in the UK or in England or in the Lake District as Chris does to make advantage of this course it really is we try to make it as global and, and as accessible as possible the course is really going to become comprehensive We've got seascapes, obviously we've been doing sunrises, we've got a little bit of sunsets, we've got creative techniques, obviously all the editing tips and um, demonstrations that you need in there, as well as all the aspects about what makes a good landscape photograph. We've really gone into detail with that alongside composition. So yeah, without giving too much more away, definitely check out the eye photography landscape course. I'm going to leave you be so I make sure I don't fall down this mountain. See you soon.